Patty Merritt. He's your host tonight, your opening act, Harold Bay. in a good mood? <laughs> Welcome here, yes sir! The Funny Farm, yeah! <laughs> Jefferson County, whoa! <laughs> yeah, Louisville, Kentucky! <laughs> yeah, Louisville! Uh, Gateway to Shively, okay! <laughs> you got back at Louisville, broke up with red shoes? The red shoes, they're magical. Click my heels together three times, go up to Fern Creek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love your town. I always feel great when I'm in Louisville. When I'm in Louisville, I feel like I'm a million bucks. Of course, if I had a million bucks. <laughs> That's very true, sir. I'd drive down the road to Lexington and buy me that goddamn basketball team. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nice to be back in the South. I'm from the South, I'm from Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, yeah any of y'all ever been to my hometown, Atlanta? Yeah. Well, I can talk about my hometown. To me, to live in Atlanta, Georgia today, you have to fit one of two groups. You're either a yuppie or a redneck. Or some combination of the two. Either your pickup truck has this little green alligator on the front, <laughs> or your Mercedes Benz has a rifle rack. <laughs> Atlanta's a city of change, too, boy. A whole lot of yuppies in Atlanta, too. Did you hear the new yuppie insult? <laughs> hey, <laughs> fax this. <laughs> Yeah, now y'all do it th that at the office, you gotta give me credit, okay? <laughs> Glad to be back in the South, I'm proud to be from the South. Anybody in the room proud to be from the South? Yeah. yeah. Sounds good, I noticed some people not contributing. <laughs> Any Yankees in the room? <laughs> yeah, y'all fucked up, now we know where you are. I'm from the South, I know what a Yankee is. Yankee, somebody from the North, we'll move South. <laughs> well, goddamn Yankee is one of them, don't go back. <laughs> now, I'm proud to be from the South, but I'm from Georgia. It's even tougher to be proud that you're from Georgia. Because some folks in Georgia embarrass me. My case in point is this guy, did you hear about this? Some hotshot district attorney from Georgia <laughs> tried to pass this law determining what kind of sex you could have in our state. Where's yet the Supreme Court upheld it. Now in Georgia, it's against the law completely illegal to have sodomy or oral sex. And if they get you having it, they put you right in prison where you get all that shit you want. <laughs> I think they missed the damn point, don't you? <laughs> like to talk about the South. Driving here, I had to come through Louisiana. They got this thing in Louisiana called Cajuns. <laughs> Cajuns, I don't trust them. <laughs> I don't trust Cajuns that they're cooking. <laughs> I don't trust anybody. Might take something dead from the side of the road, put in a pot, call it gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna talk about Florida for a while, so I'll always check it, this part of my show right here. Anybody in the room from Miami, Florida? Good. <laughs> See, I'm from Georgia, I know. Florida is attached to Georgia, which is attached to the rest of the country. <laughs> but let me tell you, Miami is not from our fucking planet. <laughs> I was in Miami last year. I was playing the Miami Comedy Club. I'm there all week. Now on Saturday afternoon, the hotel I'm staying at, actually it's the street, right in front of the hotel I'm staying. <laughs> they have a bisexual parade. <laughs> <laughs> but it broke up after like 10 minutes. <laughs> Nobody knew which way to go. <laughs> <laughs> they got a new professional basketball team in Miami now. The Miami Heat. 
Hey, the Miami Heat fans are just a little different. <laughs> Dunk it. <laughs> <laughs> I like Florida, though. I perform in Orlando a lot. Y'all ever go to Orlando, Florida? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm in Orlando, I perform at the Palace Hotel. This is at Disney World. <laughs> now, here's a brilliant idea. Stand-up comedy in Disney. <laughs> Before the show, all the comics have to meet with a censor. The guy's real straightforward, though. No, no, Uncle Walt doesn't like that fuck word. No, no. <laughs> No, Uncle Walt doesn't like any of those four-letter words like free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fifty-seven bucks to see a mouse. Let's get serious. <laughs> I had a good time there. I uh, did my show, met this girl. We were going to go back to my room and make love. Got to my room, found out I had a Mickey Mouse telephone. <laughs> Couldn't do it in front of Mickey. <laughs> So we ended up out in the backseat of her car, in the parking lot. <laughs> At that crucial moment, we're surrounded by a squad load of goofies with birth control devices. <laughs> oh, use these. <laughs> Whole different mix of cultures in Florida. I was in Daytona Beach this year, first week of March. Every year, first week of March, they got something in Daytona Beach. You know what it's called? It's called Bike Week. Bike Week, Bike Week. Hey, I misunderstood. <laughs> Thought it was a bunch of idiots on bicycles. <laughs> Turns out, this is the time of the year, first week of March, when every hell's angel in our country <laughs> travels to Daytona Beach to repopulate the species. <laughs> Some kind of salmon thing on Harley's, I don't know. <laughs> it happens every year, two, three, or four hundred thousand motorcycles on Daytona Beach. Big bikes, too. Harley Davidson's, BSAs, Triumphs, awesome display. Scared me. <laughs> I got on my little moped <laughs> and moved right out of there. Oh, no, yeah, bitch in town, yeah. <laughs> I like it here. I love your town. <laughs> Some of you look at me like you don't believe me. <laughs> I love your town. As a matter of fact, uh, I, I, I do all kinds of things when I'm here. Uh, just as last week, I played golf while I was here. Now, here's something interesting, and not nice interesting, but interesting. I played golf at this place called Cherokee Park. <laughs> now, folks, some of these guys are not playing with their own balls. I told a guy, I says, I don't care if you got a hole in one or not, put your putter in your pants and get out of my goddamn golf cart. I don't know, it must have been the Richard Simmons Celebrity Open, I guess, I don't know. But I like to say, no, I love your town. This is one of the best comedy clubs in the whole country. The guy that runs this place is wonderful to the whole industry. I love your town. But folks, now, I'm a nice guy. You should know by now. I'm a pretty reasonable guy. But I gotta call him like I see him. <laughs> folks, there are some fucked up drivers on those streets. <laughs> I'm out driving today, I'm driving downtown. I'm driving down, what is it, 3rd Street? Driving down 3rd, stick my arm out the window, sitting for a left turn. Somebody takes the goddamn joint right out of my hand. <laughs> Look back behind me, it's a blonde on a motorcycle wearing leather. <laughs> I said, wow, well, uh, hey, keep it, officer. <laughs> So much for that trip to Shelbyville today. <laughs> now what, I talk about what I see, and I don't want you to think I just talk about the South. I go up North too, I talk about the North. Last year I was in Michigan. <laughs> I felt the very same way. <laughs> really, I was in Detroit, Michigan. Hey, I won the Detroit City Lotto. <laughs> they let me leave alive. <laughs> Drove through Nebraska, here, I want to warn you about this. Drove through Nebraska, as soon as I drove across the border, they pulled me over. Wasn't because I was speeding, because I wasn't. Wasn't because I was driving bad, I wasn't. It was an insurance check. 
and I didn't have any. <laughs> officer come to my car and says, Officer Schultz here, I'd like to see your insurance card. <laughs> well, sir, I don't have one. He says, you'll have to pull over to the next exit and buy a policy. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I go to the address on the card, he gets me, Schultz Insurance Company, same guy. <laughs> I'm kind of a scam, I'm sure. <laughs> so I don't want to buy from them. I didn't. I want to deal with somebody more well-known, maybe a brand name company. So I got a policy from Mutual of Omaha. Mutual of Omaha. I don't like them. Because now every time a payment's due, some asshole named Jim tracks me down, shoots me with a tranquilizer dart, puts a goddamn pink tag in my ear. <laughs> I don't mind that that much, but that, that goddamn radio collar's beginning to chafe someone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drove through Texas. They stopped me right at the border of Texas. Seems like my car didn't pass the inspection. <laughs> no gun rack. <laughs> really, Texas Ranger coming from my car. <laughs> right by my window, puts his hand on us. He says, boy. I said, yes, sir. He says, boy, you got any guns in there? I said, no, sir. He says, okay, take this one. <laughs> Turn it into a trooper on the other side of the state when you leave. <laughs> Was in Canada last year, went to Canada. As a matter of fact, went to Canada with Ollie Joe Prater, our headliner tonight. Pretty funny, you ever seen an entire country get out of one guy's way? <laughs> me and Ollie, and, uh, as a matter of fact, me and Ollie are in Montreal. We're driving back down that one lonely highway they got through the wilderness here, <laughs> trying to get back to America. After like an hour on the highway, I look out the window, Ollie, Ollie, look, cow, Canadian cow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it impressed the shit out of me, okay? <laughs> oh shit, made, made Ollie stop the car so I could talk to the cow. <laughs> hey cow, hey, hey, Canadian cow, hi. <laughs> cow goes, moo, eh? <laughs> I'm from Georgia, that messed me up. <laughs> Cause in Georgia, our cows go moo, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> then I moved to California. Your average California cow. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Give me a dichotomy, that's a West Coast cow, here's an East Coast cow. A New York cow. <laughs> All right, goddammit, I got your fucking mole right here, okay? <laughs> New York, there's a spot for you, right? They say it's safe to go through Central Park at night now. <laughs> yeah, if you're a damn bullet. <laughs> well, I live in Los Angeles, let me tell you, LA's not much better. In fact, I've developed my own theory. <laughs> not exceptionally brilliant folks out there. <laughs> I'm convinced half the people in LA moved there because it was easy to spell. <laughs> So we all work that out, I'll wait. <laughs> give you a tourist tip. If you ever go to Los Angeles, look on the sidewalk after four or five in the afternoon, you'll see these weird people out there bouncing up and down, <laughs> doing this. <laughs> you know what this is? It's a California airhead refueling. <laughs> You've been very wonderful to me for the way you want to play. Your part is, how weird are they? So once, wait for your cue. <laughs> Stay out of this. <laughs> Los Angeles, too bizarre. They're so weird in Los Angeles. How weird are they? They assign the freeway lanes according to your sexual preference. <laughs> if you're single, you're in the fast lane. <laughs> if you're recently divorced, you're in that next lane over, with your blinker on. <laughs> come on, man. come on, let me in, let me in. <laughs> the people weaving that lane, zipping out of traffic, they're the jerks, cheating on their partners. <laughs> Put on your safety belts. <laughs> There's a gay lane, but hey, I hear it's a dirt road. <laughs> Whole lot of rear enders over there, not my problem. <laughs> they got 
gay people in Lowell, don't they? No. I played golf at that fucking golf course. I'm telling you, don't you find me. I'm not asking for confessions. I just wondered. I, I imagine they deal differently with gay people here than they do, say, Montana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had some faggots, but shit, we shot them all. <laughs> Made these real nice saddlebags out of them, ain't they nice? <laughs> Get right across your golf cart. <laughs> See, different people react differently. I live in Hollywood, and I don't know what it is about me, but when I'm in Hollywood, gay men approach me. Maybe it's the red shoes, I don't know. I... <laughs> really happened so much just out of defense, I developed a plan. Now a gay man comes up to me, I get sarcastic with him. Bitter. I tell him, I say, hey, no thank you, pal. <laughs> Saving my ass, Mr. Wright. <laughs> well, that did better than I thought it would. <laughs> so let's see how far we can push it. <laughs> I traveled all over the country last year. I was in every section of the country. Folks, I noticed different parts of the population in the United States deal differently with the gay people. So I'd like to do a quick impression for you, maybe reflecting that about our society. Folks, this is a quick impression. Don't blink. This is a paranoid paramedic giving CPR to an AIDS victim. Fucker here. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad some of you found that amusing. That's my tribute to Rock Hudson. <laughs> don't be taken aback. Don't ah, don't ooh, don't boo. Confront the facts. Really, confront the facts. You gotta know somewhere in our country, right now, somewhere. Jim Neighbors is going, surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Let's all say it together. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> what can I tell you? I can't help it if I'm weird. I really can't. They say you're a product of your environment. I, I know it's made me strange. So I was raised in the 50s, told the health department, forcing my parents to turn the heat up. <laughs> hey, normally I work as a midget. <laughs> but tonight's my night off, okay? <clears throat> Come from a real weird family, I get my sense of humor from my dad. When I was growing up, my dad was in a coma for six years. <laughs> hey, pretty cold. <laughs> Really, the weird guy, my dad, weird sense of humor. The day he woke up from the coma, he goes, mm, hits the snooze alarm, looks at me, and goes back to sleep. <laughs> <coughs> my sister's weird. My sister just had a baby, <laughs> but she's not sure it's hers. <laughs> Strange woman, born with an umbilical cord. Doctor cut it, gave her a phone cord. She didn't put the fucker down yet. <laughs> <laughs> had a strange educational background. I, I graduated from a correspondence school. Gosh, I remember our prom. <laughs> About the most fun I've ever read. <laughs> <laughs> Mention I'm a golfer. They got this thing in golf called handicap. I'm such a bad golfer, I ain't got one. <laughs> but they ask me every day, guys me the other day, say, hello, what's your handicap? I told him, I said, well, when I was 18, I stood up into a ceiling fan. <laughs> I have a good time, though, I really do. I get all around. Last year, performed in 110 cities across our country. <laughs> hey, you'd think one of them would have me back. <laughs> Toured for 63 straight weeks, got back to my home in LA. I was glad somebody fed my damn cat. <laughs> I'm a cat owner. Any cat owners in the crowd tonight? Cat owners? Having a cat will change your life. It will, it does for me. Because when I'm in Los Angeles, I don't get any sleep. I gotta get up late at night, let that damn Tom get out. Of course, since I had his balls cut off, he goes out as a consultant now. 
<laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love my cat. Had my cat 10 years, I love old Bo, but I fuck what he might do. I got this new thing I'm going to do now. Every time I get a haircut, I take a paper bag to the barber shop. After the haircut, I sweep all the hair on the floor into the bag. Take the bag of hair home, I dump it right into my cat's bed. <laughs> Your hair's on all of my shit. <laughs> yeah, top that one, feline face. <laughs> he did, he shit in my red shoes. I don't think my cat trusts me anymore since I've been putting those pop rock things in his litter box. <laughs> I see a few blank looks. It's time for some instructions. <laughs> pop rocks candy are a little explosive candy for five-year-olds. They put them in their mouth, they go pop, pop, pop. You put them in a cat litter box, he wets on them, they go... <laughs> Cats know nothing from chemical equations, okay? <laughs> I see this all the time driving down the highway. You see this these days? Guys, people got these Garfield cats in the back of their cars. I think that's real lame. Really, because in my car, I'm using my real cat. <laughs> <laughs> there are some gorgeous women in this room. Let's talk about sex for a while. Okay. I've heard that voice before. You said hi, Lou, didn't you? Keep it going. Let's get intimate. Let's exchange some data. I have sex. If you have sex, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're sure. Come on, go for it. Son of a bitch. It's a horny damn crowd tonight. No, you, sir, I'm not talking about farm animals. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you laugh, sir. You didn't raise your hand, but your lady did. <laughs> My daddy told me about sex. He said, son, sex is like your paycheck. <laughs> Enjoy it while you have it. <laughs> well, I have our own thing, our own special idea of heaven. I can't make love without that certain music. You know, circus music? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. There are a lot of correlations about sex, a whole lot of analogies. My golf game is like masturbation. Satisfying to me, but kind of disgusting to those around me. <laughs> Hey, I bought a new glove. <laughs> Anything to shave a few strokes off. You follow me here? <laughs> two years ago, two years ago, wrote my own book on sex. Of course, it was a handbook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like none of you fuckers ever even thumb through it. Sure. <laughs> You guys tell me Palm Sunday isn't your favorite holiday. Come on! <laughs> I travel a lot, so I have a dyslexic sex life. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. How many y'all are, uh, let's, let's count you by percentage. How many folks in the room are married? By a round of applause. Married folks! Almost sparked off a couple arguments there. Right? <laughs> Let's see the difference here. Single people, single people! Yeah! I think the difference in enthusiasm speaks for itself. <laughs> yeah, I'm single, I've never been married. In fact, I know the best part of being single. Do you know the worst part of being single? Sleeping in that wet spot, alone? <laughs> Which one of us isn't rolled over in the middle of the night and gone, damn? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, guys, guys, I realize men and women are radically different kinds of human beings. Guys, I realize this, you should too. <laughs> Fellas, the difference is not just physical. Uh -uh. It's a lot of things, it's emotional. It's environmental, it's cultural, it's spiritual. A lot of factors, fella, let's face it. You never see a woman when she's pissed off at some guy. Go, hey buddy, hey, right here. You never see that. <laughs> How many of y'all are drinking alcohol tonight? Beer, wine, booze, drink it tonight? Be honest with me, driving? <laughs> no, Lou, give me one goddamn car. <laughs> now, I ask you that because if you're drinking tonight, planning to drive, I don't want you to do it. Please, don't drink and drive. The cops are out there, they're waiting on you. They hate that stuff. Now, I know about this. I used to be a drunk. I was a drunk in high school. <laughs> and you know how mean they can be in high school, right? <laughs> in the yearbook. They voted me most likely to puke at a party. <laughs> In law school, I wasn't a member of the bar, but hey, I spent a lot of time there. <laughs> Took me a while to admit I had a problem. When I did, I got some help. I quit drinking. To this day, folks, I don't drink. I don't. I don't drink. I don't snort. And I don't take pills. But <laughs> folks, I'm not that square. I'll smoke anything that moves. <laughs> Bumper sticker on my car says, save the roaches. <laughs> we'll explain that to you old folks in a while. <laughs> hey, to me, marijuana is a philosophical question. <laughs> to be. <laughs> when I found out about pot in college, I published the first paper ever comparing marijuana and mice. My conclusion, hey, mice are much harder to roll. <laughs> Now I told you before, hey folks, don't drink and drive, I mean it, don't smoke and drive either. Tell you the truth, pot smoking drivers get in just as many accidents as drinking drivers. It's just from only going five, six miles an hour. <laughs> now I, I gotta go in a minute, before I go I wanna warn you about something folks, I live in California, I've been known to talk once or twice a day. <laughs> Shit, I was gonna lie and that came out the truth. I apologize. I'm kind of stunned at that. Wow. But I live in California and I want to warn you if you come to California and you happen to be that way, be careful. The California Highway Patrol has this new test. They can now tell if you've been driving your car and smoking pot in the last 48 hours. Now, I didn't even hear about it when the, dog, the law took effect, I wasn't even in the state. It was at the end of a tour. As a matter of fact, did my last show in Phoenix, Arizona. Next day, I'm driving my car back to Los Angeles. Folks, I admitted I'd smoke some pot. You know, maybe a pound, pound and a half of Colombian, I guess. I... <laughs> Thought I was out on the highway trying to be real damn subtle. <laughs> Everybody Wang Chung tonight! <laughs> Got pulled over. Got pulled over by the California Highway Patrol. <laughs> Chips. <laughs> hey, the very idea of it gave me the munchies. <laughs> Officer came to my car, told me he thought I'd been smoking pot. I couldn't quit giggling. <laughs> Give me a lot of shit about the pink tag in my ear, but <laughs> Maybe get out of the car, take this new test. Gave me a cup. Told me to go to the side of the road and go to the bathroom in it. <laughs> I asked for a bigger cup. I've been driving four hours. <laughs> Well, look, I'm not proud of what happened. I am not, folks, but I took that cup. I walked on the side of the road. I did what I had to do. <laughs> You're one hip son of a bitch, okay? <laughs> Stupid me, I started messing with the cop. Uh, 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 pardon me, officer. Got anything to read? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> gave me this little card. It says, you'd write main silent. <laughs> Finally got it done, filled it right to the top, didn't spill a damn drop. <laughs> I was real happy. I thought I'd pass the damn test. <laughs> Officer immediately arrested me. I started bitching. I said, wait a minute, I thought you had to take it to the lab and have it analyzed. He says, well, normally we do, but yours has got seeds and stems in it. <laughs> Be careful when you drive, I gotta go, everybody. Say bye, Lou. Enjoy the rest of the show, God bless you, thank you. Mr. Lou Deck, I'm